man. What's up with y'all, man? Hey, check it, man. It's A that in, man. We're back with another video. If you're the first time visiting the channel, I need you to like, comment, and subscribe. Hope you dig what I'm saying. So now, like, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. You dig what I'm saying? Yes, sir, man. So check it. Make sure you follow my Instagram, man. Underscore A Y E E D Y D Y. But look, you follow my IG on my upcoming videos. No teas, no posts, no thumbnails. No none of that, man. You think what I'm saying, man? Yes, sir. So check it, man. Y'all seen by the title. Y'all seen by that thumbnail, of course. Y'all already know what we're talking about today. We're doing a host review, man. A couple of my firearms. I got some posters for my firearms. Some of them I got hosters for. Some of them I don't. But I'm going to do a review of these hosters. Let y'all know what kind of brand hosters these are. Are they good? Are they trash? Are they... You know what I'm saying? Smash a pass. You know what I'm saying? You dig what I'm saying? If you get some ass, you already know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. So, we're going to talk about that today, man. Uh, Y'all see what I got on me right now? I got my FM 509 Compact Tactical. You dig what I'm saying? With that whoo, nice little nice host. That fits look. It's for that pants. You dig what I'm saying? Yes, sir. So, we're going to sit here. We're going to talk about that today. But let's get right into this video, man. So, that ain't gang. You dig what I'm saying, man? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Run it back. Run it back. Run it back. Screw it. Smash that like button if you're getting some money. Uh, always. Smash that like button if you're living a great life and let nobody tell you otherwise. Smash that like button if you're getting, huh, some cutting. Smash that like button if you just still fucking with the guns. Smash that like button if you're still getting ammo for the good deals. And smash that like button if you're still getting good gun sales, man. Not gun sales, but good gun deals. You know what I'm saying? Yes, yeah, sir. Make sure you smash that like button. But other than that, let's get right into this video, man. Get it! All right, man, so first, I don't know if I say nothing about it yet, but y'all see I got a bulletproof vest on right here. Yeah, I see a bulletproof vest. I got videos for the kids coming, for this coming real soon also, so, you know, y'all already know what it is. Let me take this off right here. You know what I'm saying? Throw that right there. But yeah, first we're gonna pop it off with, we got this Vetter holster by Vetter, man. Inside the waistband Vetter holster. I'm gonna do this right here, Check that out. I already took out one in the chamber, so make sure y'all we all good on that end right there. So that's good. This is the Vetter Holster, man. Vetter, man. I don't know if y'all sure if y'all ever heard of Vetter before, but it's a Vetter Holster, man. Yeah, as y'all see, there's no sharp edges around this holster. This is a Codex inside the waistband holster, as y'all see that right there. Nice Codex holster, no sharp edges. This gun is fit. Just specifically for my FN Compact Tactical, all right, 509. The, every fire, uh, every host that they make is gonna be for the specific firearm that you have. So once you are ordering them from them, they're gonna ask you, you got the list of guns, you put the brand, the, the model, whatever the case may be, and then you can add little comments, so whether letting up you got uh, the uh, Olight or, you know what I'm saying, uh, Red Dot or anything like that, and they can adjust it for you. <clears throat> You can also adjust your cant right here. Just turn, move it like this. Go like this, just put the screws. Don't loosen the screws, you know, you can adjust the cant or whatever. And you can slide this up. You can make it deeper, higher. You can leave it as normal. I left it just like this. I didn't even mess with it. I just left it the way it was, because it was perfect for me. Also like this, because of this clamp piece right here. Did y'all see that? It's like a nice little steel piece. It clips onto your sweatpants real good. So I'm gonna show y'all this right here. Show y'all that right there, and y'all also know that nice sound right there. So you know, no magazine is in it. Clips good in your sweatpants, real good. That's why I like this holster because I needed something. I wear sweatpants a lot, and I needed something that's gonna fill to my sweatpants and something that when I'm drawing, the whole holster doesn't come out. I know everybody had that uh, happen to them before. They know what I'm talking about fire is the holster coming out when you draw. But you know what I'm saying? That's how that's looking right there. This holster, man. So that's holster fits good. No matter how hard you pull out with this holster, it does not come out. And that's what I needed. Something that's just like that for my sweatpants. Guys, I'm a sweatpants holder. Oh, I mean, not sweatpants holder. Sweatpants wear. So that's the Vetter holster. <clears throat> so you check out Vetter, man. Nice company. Good product. Y'all already know. As far as the clip can sit like perfect and you also just adjust your retention right here i ain't got mine so tight so mine's like right here this is how mine's looking right now but it don't come out you know what I'm saying? Well, that time it did but yeah that's because i'm throwing it down but i got mine's retention loose 
for it. That way, it, because it was too tight at first, and when I was drawing, it was actually pulling the host out as well. So that's why I'm my retention loosen like that. But as y'all see, I like it like this. Each one to draw with my sweatpants. Next, <clears throat> we got the Glock 48 holster. Glock 48 holster. Uh, edges, some parts of these edges are a little, it's smooth, but they not that great. But it's not that sharp either. I hope y'all can see what I'm talking about. It's not that bad though. I got this. This is a gritter holster. I got this holster from Amazon. I got this holster from Amazon right here. There's nothing in there. The gun is clear. You know what I'm saying? I got this holster from Amazon. With this holster, Pacific holster, it don't have that secure clip like. You don't have it. It's, it's more so slide in. So when it, as it's sliding in, it's getting tighter and tighter around here. You can also adjust the retention right here on this side and then adjust the camp from right here. You can also adjust this and things like that. This holster right here is really good for sweatpants too also. Now it's more like a belt style holster, especially with this clip piece right here. But it fits on my sweatpants very well. This dip piece makes it push more down onto the bottom part right there. So for me, I never had no problems drawing from this um with this gun never had no problems drawing with this gun right here it always slides right out no problem always slides right out i never had to worry about the thing coming out just like that you all see that just like that so as y'all see this is a good holster for some sweatpants if you wear sweatpants like me you know you can also get the uh aussie clip three um, attach, for example, attach it on like holsters like this. So holster has to be with the bolts, it has to be right here. It can't be, for example, like right here for like the Aussie Clip 3, it has to be going up like that vertical and for the Aussie Clip 3 to snap on. It's like a snap piece that you can snap on for like, that's basically for like people to wear sweatpants, things like that. But <clears throat> I found a holsters that don't have to have all of that. These holsters fit perfect for sweatpants. But other far as this holster goes, man, this is a good holster. I like it. Um, no, it don't have that initial click, like click, but it's that it's, it's tightens up around this area right here. And like I said, you're gonna always adjust the retention right here, always. Next, we have my CZP10C. And this one has the click. That has the click. I bought this holster from Amazon. The name of this holster is the Summit, I believe. I'm gonna write it right here because I forgot the name. Nice holster. Uh, this is about the same as the one I just showed you. Everything like that. Uh, nice, smooth edge, edges. This uh, holster was already made, so it wasn't like like a holster that they had to when I ordered it. It, they had these in stock. It wasn't something like that they had to actually mold it to that gun. Like, this still molded to the gun, but it's not something that they just freshly did it by hand. You know what I'm saying? It's, this joint has been made. And I just ordered it and it came in like two days. So, this is a nice, good holster, man. This doesn't poke in my stomach at all. CZP 10C. Make sure that's clear right there for y'all. As y'all also can see that. This right here, this specific holster, I don't wear with sweatpants. I have to wear jeans with this holster right here. It's because, like right now, it's, it's it's hooking on real good. But at times, it can, like, you know what I'm saying, it can just come out. Now, right now, it's not coming out, but that's real risky. If you know it's gonna come out, don't wear it with sweatpants. Cause it'll be a pain if you pull the gun and the whole holster come out like that. You try and draw now, you gotta pull this all just to get back on, you know what I'm saying? So wear this with a belt. If you got this type of holster, with this one all cause it's mostly all belt holsters, like this for a belt. You know what I'm saying? But you can make it fit for sweatpants, but you gotta make sure you drawing and practicing with it just to see, you know what I'm saying? See, right? That's like I just, I just happened just now, it came out, you know what I'm saying? It was not good, you know what I'm saying? So that can be dangerous and harm to your life because if that happens and you need to use this, well. That's gonna take like a whole second and a half off your time. So make sure you practice with this outfit. Right, last but not least, well, we got the Glock 17 poster right here. This is one of my first hosts that I ever bought. Y'all see, firearm um, is clear, everything like that, man. 
everything is straight. So this is the Glock 17 holster brand here, man. And this holster, I honestly said I got this from Amazon. It's called an Amberide. What's it called? Amberide.com. This is a cheap holster too, also. Like, so this is a cheap holster. Glock 48 Gritter holster is a cheap holster. CZ P10C is a nice Amazon cheap holster. And then this is the, I bought this, is, this is the better one for the FN. This one's like 60 something dollars, but it's handmade, you know what I'm saying? So and it's, like I said, it's smooth edges. This one right here is semi smooth edges. Um, it, this one, I don't like to carry this because it sticks to me, it pokes me a lot. I'm gonna show y'all, <clears throat> you know. <clears throat> it got the nice clip though. The attention is good on this. You know, and I just adjust it right there. It came with like a little Allen, little wrench screw thing. You adjust it like that. And then, you know, it don't, this one don't cover the mag release button right here. Um, neither do the FN, but it got that curved part to cover. Like, you know, it's, it's, it's like made like that. You know what I'm saying? To, you know, for your finger to be like right there. If you want to drop the mag out. The uh, CZ P10C, covers the mag release on both sides. She has those ambidextrous, just like the FN. And the Glock 48 one doesn't. So some some hosts do, some hosts don't. But let's get back to the, the Glock 17. This one doesn't cover the mag release. Uh, it was a good holster. This one does not fit well with my sweatpants. And y'all know this is a full size pistol. Um, far as fitting to my body, Wise, if it's good, it fits flush to my body. I do like that, but like I said, this does not fit towards my sweatpants. I have to wear jeans with this holster. Um, just because of the fact that if I draw, no matter how hard I draw, no matter how, it's the tension on this, it has to be tight because if it's not, it's gonna be real loose with this gun. I had tried it so many different ways. And like I said, like it has to be like, like that. Like it has to be hooked on and it does not work at all. But other than that, this, it was a good holster for my very first holster until I started buying different holsters and things like that. So this is a, could be a good holster for somebody that's just looking for a nice cheap holster for the time being. But I also can say you probably will end up branching out and spending more money on the holster, but you will get a higher quality holster like this better holster that I have here. Like this better holster that I have here which is handmade and molded perfect for that Pacific Firearm. All of these are molded for that Pacific Firearm, but this was actually made before they sent it out. So it's not something that's just there in the warehouse and it's not like that. So they make it. So it's perfect, man. Perfect. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, it's the better one I showed y'all before. Perfect holster. It works, you know what I'm saying? Boom. So like I said, but other than that, don't man, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. This is basically a holster review. It's giving y'all some reviews or quick reviews on different holsters or different things like that. They all pretty good holsters. I do like them all. Uh, if I had to pick which holster, would I always will gum the holster I would carry? It would be between my Glock 48 one and the CZP 10 C one, the better one versus the greater one. And they both have two different pros to them. I like this one because no matter what, it's, it slides out. When I'm pulling this, I'm slides out. Um, and the con about this, it don't have that click, but the pro is it hooks in my sweatpants real good. Any pants I wear, shorts I wear, it's easy to come out. And far as the better holster, the pro on this holster is uh, the actual clamp part is it's basically fitted to like for sweatpants also. You know what I'm saying? Now, I ain't never seen no videos on it, people wearing sweatpants, so I had to make one. But this one is fitted towards most sweatpants and it got that click. It has that also click for y'all, man. So, man, y'all uh, go pick, man, see what y'all want. And the kind about this one, it's gonna cause, it's a little bit more pricey versus this one, so it's, a, it's an Amazon one. This is an actual better. It's a better one. It's the actual company. So it's gonna be a little bit more pricey. You buy this one, but you know whatever your budget is at the time, man, get that one and make it do what it do. And make sure it works for you, man. Practice dry firing with your holsters, man. Man, end of the day, we out, we out this joint, man. I'ma catch on the next one. Then they gang, you know what I'm saying, man. We out this kit. Get it.